Hey everybody, this is Dane from Roland LLC. Uh, I wanted to make a video on putting Schrader valves in Fox 2.0 uh, remote reservoir shocks. Here you can see me drilling out the plastic they put into the Allen screw um, with an eighth inch drill bit. Comes out pretty easy. Uh, this is a standard Allen forget what size but when you take this out you want to be real careful because there is pressure or there can be pressure in it so um, in a second here I'll be unscrewing it real slowly listening for the hiss and standing back to the side so it doesn't explode and smack me in the face or something I don't know if you can hear the hiss or not. This is my first video, by the way. So that's out. Then there's a little rubber doohickey in there. Pop that out. Easy enough. Then I'm gonna grab a clamp. Push it in a little bit so I can get access to the C-clip. If I can figure out how to use this clamp. Oh, yep. There it is. Just got to push it back just enough to get access to that clip. cleaning out all the crud so when I pull this out and this is sketchy here too I'm using a air gun to just put a tiny bit of pressure in there if you're doing this be super super careful just needs like a couple psi and it pops out if you're not if you're not careful it'll pop out at you like a rocket and break your fingers smack you in the face or something nice and clean just kidding it's dirty so I'm wrapping it with a little bit of uh, cardboard here, just so I don't mung up the O-rings. I left them on there. And uh, you don't have to use a lathe, but I have one, so I'm gonna use it. And um, chucking it up here. my hokey way of uh, getting it nice and centered gets it pretty pretty good though really and I believe that drill bit is a 5 16th let me double check and yes, it is a 5 16 drill bit that I'm using. And that is to be used before I'm using the MPT tap to install the Schrader valve. PT tap I will be using in a, in a minute here is a 8 inch MPT 27 uh, threads per inch I believe There's the uh, 
MPT tap. Got some uh, threading oil on there. Definitely want to use threading oil. And uh, again, you don't have to use a lathe. You can do it by hand. Um, just be real careful when you put it in a vise. I would recommend using like blocks of wood or something so you're not going to mess up the, the surface or the o-rings. And there's a little trial and error in this when you're tapping with an MPT tap. You don't want to go too deep and you don't want to go too shallow. So um, you want to have your Schrader valve with the eighth inch MPT next to you so you can kind of feel it out. Make sure it's going to catch the threads but not be too loose, because if you're too loose, then, well, you're gonna use a heck of a lot of uh, Teflon or thread sealer, which I don't, I wouldn't really trust. There it is, doing a little test fit. I got lucky, this is the third shock I'm doing. Here, I'm gonna blow it out and make sure you got safety glasses on, obviously. Use a little brake cleaner, getting that thread cutting oil off. Do it a couple times because, well, from my experience, it doesn't get all that thread cutting oil off the first go around. So, better be safe than sorry. And I'm using a uh, thread sealant um, Loctite uh, 565. Um, this stuff, you, it works really great for high pressure applications like hydraulic applications or high pressure air the only downside is you have to wait you know 24 hours or something to let it fully cure before you air it up otherwise i you know you could use teflon tape but this stuff is much better in my opinion And I'm just chucking it back up in here in the lathe so I can tighten it down. Yep, should have used a 12 point, went this way instead. You'll see what happens here. Slip, watch. Bink. Oh well. Making it good and tight. Wiping off all the excess uh, thread sealant right here. Now I'm going to put it back in. It's super easy. I just put a little grease on here. I'm sure I should have used a special kind of grease, but I don't have that. So, um,. But honestly, I'm going to take these to my shot guy and have him change oil in them. So I'll let him put the right stuff on there. And then 
easy enough. Put the clip back on. And it's all done. And thanks for watching. Voila. Appreciate it.